Before I dive in, Nintendo did make an announcement today, and it wasn't about the Switch 2. Remember when the Bill Bill Com was like, yeah, there's going to be a new OLED bundle for the holidays here in the U.S.? Well, Nintendo announced it this morning, and oh my gosh, are you guys shocked? It is a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe OLED bundle. Also, a new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle with the regular Switch with different box colors to hopefully get people to buy who want to collect all the boxes. Yeah, let's put it this way. Nintendo America is not reinventing the wheel here. We couldn't, of course, get a Mario Wonder bundle for the holidays. No, 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 no. The classic is back. It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Just this time, also with an OLED model. <laughs> I just, you can't make this up. Like, Nintendo, this is the announcement, by the way, that people thought were going to make us not talk about Switch 2. Or, this is why Nintendo won't talk about Switch 2 because they're making this announcement. I'm like, did this... You guys really think that a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Bundle <laughs> was going to prevent the Switch 2 announcement? Oh, boy. This week is the first week that many of us, myself included, have been speculating the Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed. No, not today. Possibly tomorrow. Most people assuming either Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday seems to be the consensus pick on the 19th, about one week before Echoes of Wisdom and Tokyo Game Show. However, for some reason, my gut's telling me the 18th. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We did a big Nintendo Switch 2 predictions video. Put that out yesterday. You guys should definitely go check that out. But today, oh boy, we have potentially one of the single largest leaks for Nintendo Switch 2, and it seems to be coming from manufacturing. Now, there's a few caveats with this story. Number one is it comes from a Chinese forum. This Chinese forum has had people there leak things from manufacturing for the Nintendo Switch in the past. However, this particular user is new and does not have a prior track record. However, you might go, well, then how do we know they're not making it up? Well, number one, we don't know, and you should have a grain of salt, but it appears this user provided identifying information that not only proved where they work and what their job is uh, was so damning that the mods were deleting all of his identifying information, which led to him deleting things, and then the mods themselves going through and deleting people, bringing up his credentials. Kind of crazy, and it makes people think that this is pretty legit. That Chinese forum does happen to think things are pretty legit, but unfortunately, we don't have a link to the Chinese forum, nor would it do us any good right now, because, well, all the posts have now been deleted. There's references in there to the post, but they've been deleted. So how do we know what happened? Well, it's thanks to a Nintendo enthusiast forum called Famiboards, who has gone ahead and logged pretty much everything that went down and then, you know, multiple users stating they were over there and read the post and machine translated everything. So we have all the details, but it's important to note that when you're going through family boards, that is a second hand information because first hand would have been just reading it off the forums. So when you read it off family boards, it is second hand information. And now that you're getting it from me in a video, it's third hand information for all of you second hand for me. So we just have to sit back here and take this all with a grain of salt, but it's very exciting and might even be expected, especially if you think the Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed really, really soon. Whether it's this week or the first week of October, we all knew manufacturing leaks were probably going to happen at some point. And oh boy, these leaks are fairly exciting and confirm a few select details that might or might not get you excited. We're talking the name of the system. We're talking some features of the controllers. We're talking the way the logo looks and the way that things are looking on the back of the system with the kickstand. We're talking some very specific stuff here and I'm really, really excited. So before I dive into these details, I just want to remind you, we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you want to help us get there and stay up to date on everything Switch 2, hey, all you gotta do is like this video and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and by the way, uh, as I said, this stuff is all grain of salt. Uh, and we, if it is revealed this week, should have confirmation of this stuff or deconfirmation very, very soon. Let's go ahead and dive right in.
So, we talked about how this person provided identifying information for who they are, including a Foxconn ID badge that the mods ended up deleting. That Foxconn ID badge did appear to look very similar to known Fox ID badge. So, it looks like a real Foxconn ID badge. It had his identifying information on it, which is very scary to put out there. Uh, Foxconn is one of Nintendo's primary partners in manufacturing and, yes, full assembly of systems. It's actually their number one uh, you know, manufacturer of the Nintendo Switch, so probably their primary manufacturer for the Nintendo Switch too. So a lot of this stuff is looking like it's potentially legitimate, plus the person going through and deleting everything because, you know, they realized he put too much out there to be easy to figure out who he is, including saying wild things like, hey, all these questions he's being asked, he'll have more information on the 18th. I doubt he's even going to come back and say anything because, I, look, he might have just lost his job or massively risked losing his job, especially now that this stuff is spread all over the internet. That being said, uh, let's dive into the specifics of what was actually said, because that's what you're here for, right? So this particular person supposedly oversees about a thousand units produced of the Nintendo Switch 2 per day. Now we don't know if he's like individually assembling these all himself. Seems pretty crazy to think he could assemble 1,000 in a day. Uh, but then again, you know, if he's just running part of an assembly line and it's machines doing most of the work, that could be really where the production comes in. After all, you can have like, you know, a million boxes folded a day off one person running an assembly line, but the machines are really doing the work right. So, and he's not saying that this is all his factories producing. It's just his particular spot on his line where he works is, is pounding out about a thousand of these per day. Uh, this doesn't seem to be necessarily full ramp up of mass manufacturing kind of like the slow beginning ramp up but still does seem to be an assembler putting the system together now the units are slightly larger than switch this is according to the chinese leaker uh but they do have a smaller bezel now whether or not this is slightly bigger than the switch oled model he doesn't delineate uh he really kind of references the original switch because maybe that's the switch he owns it's possible this person's experience is only with the OG Switch and not the OLED, so that's what he's comparing it to here. Uh, the controllers on the side are black and white. Now, it doesn't specify if one controller is all black and one controller is all white uh, with you know contrasting buttons, where like the black controller has white buttons and the white controller has black buttons. And none of that is specified, or maybe both controllers are using both colorways, like you know half black, half white on each controller. Doesn't really specify the details on there, but he does note that that is a thing. It's notable that Nintendo has never released a black and white combo uh, colors colorway, so this could end up making the Switch 2 stand out more uh, from the current Nintendo Switch just with that colorway. And you know what? Maybe black and white just look good together, right? So I kind of want it to be true just because I do enjoy the way black and white happen to work together. Now, there is a logo on the back of the unit that is a Switch logo, but it's slightly larger with a larger number two next to it. Yes, folks, that's essentially saying the system is indeed called Nintendo Switch Two. That might be one of the biggest news out of this is that according to this person, Nintendo is just going to call it Nintendo Switch 2. No new, no other logo signs. It's just a Switch logo with a number two, kind of like we've been putting uh, in our uh, videos. Of course, we don't know if it's like the Nintendo Switch logo with the word Nintendo Switch and then a two next to it, or if it's just the logo itself, you know, the two Joy-Cons with the two next to it. Either way, uh, that would be pretty deliberate by Nintendo and pretty obvious branding. It's something none of us realistically expected Nintendo to do, unless you watch my video yesterday where I predicted Predicted, you know what? Maybe Nintendo is just going to do that, and I was going to put my foot down on it. Well, according to this person, and again, confirmation bias, we wanted to believe this, it, the, it's literally a Switch logo with a 2 next to it, a.k.a. it's called Nintendo Switch 2. Now, the new controllers, uh, getting back to the whole, you know, how they're black and white, they don't slide onto the system like the current controllers, right? Which is something that a lot of us figured there might not be. You know, I predicted there would be a rail system, but it, it appears to use a press fit joint. Now, we don't know how big this joint is. If I had to guess, like the protruding part off of the actual controllers is, is probably small, maybe a little bit bigger than the current uh, rail protrusion off of the Joy-Cons, but uh, it's probably further secured with some sort of magnets as well. There are actually uh, some handheld PC units that use a similar design, except the protrusions are quite large. Uh, here's like an example that I saw over on Reset Era, which, by the way, we're referencing Famiboards and Reset Era because Reset Era 
Oh, well, on family boards, pretty much everything's behind hidden posts, but then Reset Era essentially took everything from those hidden posts and made them not hidden. I still don't understand why family boards does that, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, getting more into the details here, uh, their back panel is actually one solid piece. You know how there's, on the OLED model, like half of the back panel kind of folds out like a Surface-style kickstand? Well, uh, there is a kickstand, but they changed the design. It has a hollowed-out U-like design kickstand, supposedly with some sort of dampening going on. The dampening would be to reverse noise, or like when it claps down, it doesn't make a, like a loud thud. Uh, what's interesting is that they're saying you can carry the system by this, which, you know, look, it essentially just means that like there's a, a, a kickstand that kind of goes along the outline of the of the, probably halfway up the sides of the back of the system, and then it kind of goes down and around, you know, th the bottom of the system. So it, that comes out, and yes, you could theoretically hold the system by that. You know, people joking around about the GameCube handle, I understand, but that's not really what it's designed for. But you could technically carry the system like that if you want for some reason. Uh, but yeah, it just appears to be essentially a improvement over the current design in that it probably uses less metal and less materials uh, and keeps the solid back plate, but then, you know, just, it just has a pretty solid kickstand. It's definitely better than what the Nintendo Switch launched with, with that cheap little plastic, you know, kickstand that would just pop off all the time. It probably allows for a lot of angles as well. Now, it is notable that this U-like kickstand is not the first time we've heard, heard about it. A known insider on those Chinese forums uh, did mention it back in 2022 before they stopped posting because it appeared that people discovered who they were at the factory. Uh, hopefully they didn't lose their job, but you know what? Anytime you're leaking stuff from work, you're under NDAs, you signed your contracts, you know you're not supposed to do it. Just like this person coming out, he knows he's not supposed to do it, but... You know, if you're doing it, you're doing it, right? Like, that's the kind of the thing. It's like, you either don't care about your job and don't care to get fired, or you think internet clout is worth the risk. I don't know. Personally, if I worked at a factory, I wouldn't leak anything. Uh, maybe I'd make some offhand comments to my closest family members, uh, but I wouldn't put anything personally on the internet. But you know what? Everyone's different. And some people just hate their jobs, right? Like, some people just hate their jobs and want to stick it to them. But there's thousands of people working at these factories, you know, hundreds of thousands across all the factories. Yeah, you're going to have some people willing to put stuff out there because they just don't care. Or they think it'll be too hard to track them down due to the sheer number of people working at these factories. Now, as I said, mods have gone ahead and deleted all of his identifying information. He went ahead and deleted all of his posts. You could see evidence of the posts being deleted, but in the end, uh, there's still conversations happening there. A lot of the conversations about his identifying information keep getting deleted. He self-deleted some stuff. The mods deleted some stuff. Look, in the end, this kind of looks like they're trying to cover up what happened because the person outed themselves. And that's what's making a lot of people think this is legit. Now, again, we have to take everything surrounding this with a grain of salt but the big takeaways if any of this is true is that one it's called the nintendo switch 2 and it has a switch logo with a 2 next to it pretty basic pretty much what you would expect if they did call it nintendo switch 2 uh it's kickstand instead of it being the surface style it's actually hollowed out and now just a u design and the joy cons are black and white and no longer use a slide on rail system but rather a click in system that uses obviously magnets to help Fasten. That's sort of the it. That's kind of the details we have. No details on the cartridge side. Oh, the screen and the system itself is bigger, slightly bigger than a Nintendo Switch with smaller bezels as well. So got to throw that out there as well. Technically, you could say, well, that's kind of the Switch OLED. The Switch OLED is technically slightly bigger. It's probably a little bit bigger than that. The Switch OLED, if you hold it up next to the Switch, isn't really that much bigger, but it does have the smaller bezels. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, we don't know any other specifics, and we don't know if the person's going to return on the 18th with more specifics. Also, with us expecting the Nintendo Switch 2 to actually get announced this week, you know, if it is announced this week, almost all these details he's talking about would not only get confirmed or deconfirmed at a reveal this week, we're going to know, obviously, a hell of a lot more than probably what this guy can tell us anyways, unless he wants to get into particular specs, and he probably doesn't know particular specs. When you're part of the assembly line, and you're putting the system together, uh, you're not going to know those things. Someone who might know it is someone who maybe handles quality testing at the end, where they have to insert and uninsert you know, cartridges and make sure that works and that it's operational and all the buttons work. You know, somebody who works in the final testing phase, and yes, I know that's what a lot of factories call it, because I've worked in factories, and I worked where you're in what's called the final testing group, and you're the ones testing all the systems. Those people know the most details, because they literally have to confirm the functionality of every unit uh, before it gets out of the factory. And they usually do it pretty quick, but you know, that's why, why some 
defects can sometimes get out of a factory. Uh, but still, it you know they confirm the basics. It turns on, the cartridge slot works, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, no d- exact details on any of that stuff on backwards compatibility. Or Look, it's a manufacturing leak. The only leak that's better than this, assuming this is legit, would be obviously images of the system. That could be forthcoming at some point if it ha- truly has entered um, any sort of, even if it's not mass assembly, it's just beginning the ramp up to mass assembly. Yeah, that's usually when images come out. We had images of the Switch Lite shell at one point, uh, images of the Switch OLED as well. So I fully suspect that, you know, we're, we're days, if not a week away, if mass manufacturing has begun, of actual images just coming right out of the factory. Someone Someone's sneaking to pick with the cell phone. So we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, we're obviously just hoping that Nintendo reveals it this week. One of the things we talked about why Nintendo might reveal it sooner than later is because of these kind of leaks right here. If this is all legit, this is Nintendo losing their own narrative just a little bit. You know, if Nintendo is calling it Nintendo Switch 2, maybe it's not losing too much of the narrative since that's what the public's been calling it this whole time. But, you know, Nintendo likes to have a lot of fine-tuned control, and I just expect them to announce it this week and just take over the internet for a day or two. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it here at Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Uh, If you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video. (laughs) 